today we are going to discuss about the HMO theory that means the Huckel's molecular orbital theory so we can say uh, it is an extension of the molecular orbital theory proposed by the Huckel so we are going to discuss some basic concepts of the MO theory in which the basic concept is the LCAO method uh, in which you know that uh, the the wave function psi which is proposed for a molecule like AB that is actually the linear combination of that atomic orbitals of A and B that are engaged in the overlapping that is why we are having the two wave functions that is one is constructive and the other is destructive the addition which gives the bonding type while the subtraction which gives the anti bonding type of orbital so you can see that here this i is equal to C A Z A plus C B Psi B which is the bonding type molecular orbital and for uh, anti bonding type you can see that this i is given by C A Z A minus C B Psi B where C A and Z B are the coefficients of the variables and uh, you can see uh, the wave functions of that particular atom, atom that is Psi A correspond to the atom A and Psi B correspond to the atom B but uh, this is something different in the case of VBT theory, VB theory, Vance Mott theory. If here, in this case, we can see that for an atom, or sorry, for a molecule like AB, uh, here we are formulating the wave function psi by the Rene combination of each of various possible electronic structures that uh, that molecule have. That means. Here there is, the, there is a slight difference in the case of prop, uh, proposal of wave function that is here is i is equal to c1 xi1 plus z2 psi2 plus etc. This is actually the basic uh, difference between the two type of uh, theory uh, in which both are very important in describing the bonding in a molecule. So uh, in the case of the MO theory you know the electrons are being added to the different orbitals uh, in which the, uh, the energy levels are increasing that means you can see the energy level is which will follow a form like this that is sigma 1s, sigma star 1s, sigma 2 is sigma star 2 is like that you can see and this will give us the bond order of that molecule actually this bond order is basically an Idea, it will give an idea regarding the number of covalent bonds in that or we can say that uh, it is actually half of number of bonding electrons minus number of anti-bonding electrons so that uh, the bond order will give you an idea regarding the stability of that covalent bond so if, uh, if the bond order is negative or zero it will, it will be surely unstable that molecule will be unstable and if the bond order is positive we can say that or we can conclude that it is highly stable so we can say that uh, the if you are taking the example for H2 molecule or helium 2 molecule we can see that uh, in the case of hydrogen these two bond order is 2 so it is found to be stable while in the case of helium that will be 0 so helium molecule doesn't exist like that uh, MO has uh, very successfully established or explained different types of bonding in molecules. So this is a bond order that will give stability that is directly proportional to it and is also directly proportional to inverse of the bond length in a molecule. And also this uh, bond order gives you an idea, uh, an idea regarding the number of covalent bonds that already I have discussed. In the case of C triple bond C the bond order is 3. Similarly in the case of C single bond C the bond order will be 1. So bond order is one of the most important uh, parameters that will help you to explain or define a type of bonding in a molecule. Now we will come to the Huckel's MO theory. That means the Huckel's molecular orbital theory. And this is uh, a type of empirical method and uh, that we are applying it to a planar organic compounds that contains 
the conjugated carbon chain which can be linear or cyclic so hackel has given or proposed an additional idea to mo theory to explain special type of polyatomic molecules uh, that means this type of uh, planar uh, organic compounds not to explain the bonding in this type of uh, molecules so hackels has proposed his idea and uh, he has given a method for explaining the bonding in this type of molecules especially we, we will say uh, uh, molecules like butadiene benzene etc are examples for this type of planar organic compounds with a conjugated carbon chain so uh, in the case of benzene uh, we can see that uh, there are uh, different types of uh, or uh, localized sigma carbon carbon bond here also we can see the sigma carbon hydrogen bonds and also oh, there is a delocalized pi mos so oh, the hmo theory is uh, being explained or expressed to explain the bonding in this type of molecules i have given uh, benzene as an example uh, in the case of uh, benzene uh, we have we, I, we know that there are six uh, equivalent sigma and six uh, carbon carbon as well as carbon hydrogen uh, bonds which contains 24 electrons 24 valence electrons similarly there is a rest of six electrons are there and they are being distributed between the pi molecules we have to understand that all the other or electrons are being expressed or uh, contained in the sigma bonding and the rest six electrons are being engaged in the uh, pi molecules or uh, the rest 24 are in sigma molecules where the uh, rest six are present in the pi mos in which the three is in the pi mos that are bonding and the three is in the pi mos which are anti bonding in nature so uh, molecules are like benzene or allyl systems or uh, butadiene uh, the mo simple mo theory is not sufficient to explain bonding in this type of molecules so we need an extension and hackels have given us an idea or a concept for explaining the bonding in this type of molecules uh, where there is a presence of pi electrons and that will engage in uh, bonding or that will uh, engage in the different types of bonding other than the covalent bond so we have to go through the different concepts in the hmo theory now uh, already I, uh, i have already said that uh, hmo is exclusively for pi electrons only because uh, the other can be explained using simple mo theories so we have to understand that the hmo that means huckel's molecular theory is exclusively for uh, we are applying applying for pi electrons and there will be no interaction between the pi electrons and sigma electrons we know that the sigma electrons are engaged in the sigma bond and pi electrons are being engaged in pi bonding so the total pi electron wave function that we will denote it as xi pi so we know we are going to in other process also we are having we have to propose the wave function and hamiltonian and uh, finally we are we are getting the total energy of the system like that we are going in this case also we are actually proposing a total pi energy wave function for that and uh, it is actually uh, uh, it is an it is actually the the product of one electron functions which is called uh, huckel's molecular orbitals and uh, so that we can say that psi pi that will be equal to psi 11 into psi psi dash 2 into psi 2 3 into psi bar 2 4 etc etc that means th that is actually the product of one electron functions then these one electron functions are called uh, huckel's molecular orbitals and <coughs> the total energy of the pi electrons is given by e pi that will be the linear combination of one electron energies of that means one energy uh, one electron energies of hmos that we will define as e pi is equal to n1 e1 plus n2 e2 plus etc 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 so uh, once again i will say uh, the total pi electron wave function 
is denoted by psi pi that is actually the product of one electron function one electron functions called HMOs now the next question is how we are going to get the uh, one electron functions that means the, how we are getting the values from uh, HMOs uh, that is actually the we are getting it, the HMOs from the approximate solutions of one electron Schrodinger equation that we have applied earlier that is H psi 1 i is equal to E i psi i uh, i is actually the number of i uh, that means i represents to the i th, i th one so we are getting the HMOs uh, values of HMOs from the approximate solutions of one electron Schrodinger equation we are uh, using this we are getting the values for the HMOs and uh, but in this case the the Hamiltonian is not specified correctly and equation is not solved accurately so we will follow an another method in, in the case of Huckel's uh, concept so we will go through that the each Huckel's monotropical which is defined as psi i is actually the linear combination of the carbon 2 pz atomic orbital with the xy plane as the molecular plane here you can see uh, this is uh, the xyz plane and uh, for the pi bonding uh, we are taking the carbon 2pz orbital this is the 2pz orbital you can see which is uh, perpendicular to the xy plane and uh, this pz pz orbital is engaged in the pi bonding uh, between the carbon carbon and uh, between carbon hydrogen atoms so and uh, the px and py orbitals will be engaging in the uh, sigma bonding that you already know that so uh, the psi i or the each Hamil Huckel's molecular orbital is defined as psi i is defined as h i is equal to uh, a i 1 p i p i is the uh, orbital p p orbital and a i 2 p 2 plus etc etc and we will uh, define uh, again define as that will be equal to summation of a i r p r where r is equal to 1 to 1 to n where you can see that therefore the Hamel, uh, Huckel's molecular orbital xi i will be equal to summation of uh, summation of a i a i r p r where uh, p r is the 2 pz atomic orbital of rth carbon atoms rth carbon atom and AIR which is the coefficient of rth atomic orbitals in the ith Huckel's molecular orbit so this is the definition for uh, xi i which is the uh, Huckel's molecular orbital uh, xi i that will be equal to summation of r is equal to 1 to n a i r p r after proposing the uh, HMO, uh, wave function uh, for HMO, now we are going to the energy of that HMO. That this is defined as EI, that will be equal to integral of psi i h psi i d tau divided by integral of psi i square d tau. This is the second point you have to uh, remember. First point is simply the proposal of wave function. Second is the energy of HMO that is defined as a is equal to integral of psi i h psi i d tau divided by integral of psi i square d tau which again follows the basic quantum mechanical concept uh, now you may remember the MO treatment of hydrogen like or uh, similar type of systems we have applied now we are uh, actually applying the variation method uh, is being employed and we will propose a secular equation for, for the system and after proposal of this secular equation we will move to the secular determinant and from secular determinant we are going to solve the uh, system so and finally we will come with the energy of the system now we are going to propose a secular equation that you may remember the same in the former cases we have earlier discussed about the secular equation and uh, it's a uh, Sol so solving of this secular equation by taking the secular determinant the same is the case here for uh, here also you can see this is an example that is we are proposing the secular equation like this 
a one into h one one minus e s one one plus a two h one two minus e s one two plus etc. That will be equal to zero. And the second case that is a one into h two one minus e s two one plus a two h two two minus e s one two plus etc. That will be equal to zero. And from this uh, proposed secular equation, we are going to again propose the secular determinant to in order to solve the secular equation. Uh, for that, we are using the secular equation like this: h11 minus e s11, h12 minus e s12, h n1 minus e s n1, h n2 minus e s n2, which I mean that will be equal to zero. And for that, we are getting the values for h i j. I j is the i and j state that will be equal to integral of p a p a h p j d t. And similarly for a sij, that will be equal to integral of p i p j d t. Up to this uh, portion, you may remember what we have done in the former cases, especially in the case of hydrogen system or helium system. Uh, now we are uh, the approach will be different in the case of HMO. Now we are uh, taking some approximations. This uh, that means Hackel has proposed some new approximation for that. That means the H11 that will be Equal to H22, that will be equal to a constant called alpha, and similarly H12, that will be equal to H23, that will be equal to H34, that will be that will be equal to a constant called beta. That means both are same. What does this two comprise? That means in the first case, these two uh, approximation means that the average energy of an electron in the respective atomic orbitals will be equal. Say in the first case, it will be alpha, a constant. That is why we have used h11 and h22. That means the uh, average energy of the electron that is engaged in the or involved in the pi bonding of the respective atomic orbital are same. That is why we have used the same equation h11 that will be equal to h22. That will be again equal to alpha. And the second equation that comprises that the average energy of electrons due to the interaction between the at between the atomic two atomic orbitals will also be identical. And it will be equal to a constant called beta. That is why we have used the equation H12 and H23 and H34. That means the, the electrons are present in different atomic orbitals of atoms. So again, in this case also, we are uh, they are equal, and it will be equal to a constant called beta. After the approximations, or after these two approximations proposed by Huckel, our secular term will attain a different form. And it will, it will fall like this. There is alpha minus e, beta zero, etc., etc., zero, and beta alpha minus e, beta etc., etc., up to zero, etc., etc., zero, zero, up to zero value, zero to value. That will be again equal to zero. This is the secular determinant uh, attained after the two approximations we have made or proposed by Huckel. Again, we are again going to we are going to simplify this secular determinant by put an approximation that is alpha minus e divided by beta is equal to x, a new variable x. Now we are going to re-define uh, or rewriting. We are going to rewriting the uh, the secular determinant like this, and finally it attains the form like this. That is x one zero x zero to zero one x one Etc. Up to zero, etc. Etc. That that will be equal to zero. Uh, actually, our aim was to simplify that determinant so that we are able to uh, get a simplified polynomial or for a result or for that system. So after getting simplified, after getting the uh, determinant get simplified and expanding that determinant, we are getting a polynomial. Uh, Of nth degree in x, that x is the uh, new variable, which has n number of real roots. That is x1, x2, etc. Up to uh, x n. So we are getting the uh, after solving this uh, simple determinant, we are getting a polynomial for that, with which uh, with of uh, which is of nth degree. And from this polynomial, uh, we are, we are going to uh, propose the Total energy of the system, and also the other parameters. 
So, uh, since we know that x is equal to alpha minus E by divided by beta, we are going to get the energy as Ej. Uh, J means uh, we are having uh, 1 to nth degree and J is simply a position in between 1 to n. So, we are saying uh, x is the uh, extent or uh, final one and J is something that is inside that uh, from 0 to n. So, we are saying that Ej and Ej that will be equal to alpha minus xj beta. So, so finally we are getting uh, expression for energy at the jth level as alpha minus uh, xj beta. Uh, as the polynomial is obtained is of nth degree, there will be n energy levels corresponding to n Huckel monocular orbitals and each can be expressed in terms of this alpha and beta. So finally we have solved the uh, uh, problem and we can say that whether that uh, uh, that it is bonding or uh, non-bonding or anti-bonding uh, from the values uh, we are getting from alpha and beta that is Ej if Ej is less than alpha we can say that it is bonding and it is greater than alpha means it is anti-bonding. If both are equal then we can say that or we can predict that it is non-bonding type. From the different values of E energy, uh, the corresponding uh, coefficients that means corresponding HMO coefficients uh, A1, A2 up to An can also be obtained. And if, if, if we want to have the absolute values for this energy we have to apply the normalization condition for that. Uh, this is the method employed for the HMO method. I shall once again recall this from one by one. And this first one is actually the HMO is exclusively for pi electrons only and next is the proposal of total pi electron wave function using the uh, product of one electron functions that is again called HMOs and next is the total energy of the, these pi electrons and from that uh, there is actually the linear combination of one electron HMOs energies. And third point is the proposal of uh, HMO, that is Huckel molecular orbital psi i. That is, uh, we got the idea uh, as, or we have expanded like this uh, psi i is equal to summation of r is equal to 1 to n AAR PAR, PR. After that, we are proposing the energy for this HMO. and. Uh, Proposing the energy after the proposal of energy, we have the variation treatment for that and the proposal of the secular equation. And from the secular equation, uh, we have uh, we are proposing a secular determinant. After the uh, secular determinant, we are actually having two types of approximations proposed by Huckel that is, the, our energy of an electron in the respective atom orbits will be equal and is a constant. Similar to the electrons between the interaction of uh, two atomic orbitals, that will be also will be equal and that will be B, uh, beta. And from uh, using that approximation, we are propos again proposing a secular determinant, and again we are simplifying it by an approximation uh, so that we are getting a very simple secular determinant. And from this simple uh, secular determinant, we are able to obtain a, a polynomial which is able to. Uh, give the energy of or uh, of that jth order means that means from 0 to nth order between any order we are able to propose uh, the energy using the two constants alpha and beta and we are able to uh, from the values of alpha uh, we are able to predict whether it is bonding or anti bonding or non bonding and substituting these values of E uh, we are able to uh, calculate the HMO coefficients a1 say a1 a2 etc and finally if we want to get the absolute value we are just, will just apply the normalization condition uh, this is the uh, Huckel's concept or uh, method of approximation uh, that we are exclusively applying it for special type of uh, uh, polyatomic molecules which includes pi bonding other than covalent bond so this is a method of for approximation or we cannot say it is approximation we can say it is a theory theoretical approach 
you can say this is theoretical approach uh, made by or proposed by Hakkal for special type of polyatomic molecules.